So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to create rounded edges, um, or what we call fillets. <clears throat> so first I'm going to grab a square right here, a cube, and uh, move it around. And what we need to do is cut off some rounded edges. So if we go down under the basic shapes, go down to featured shape generators. Okay, so these are shapes that other people have created and that have been approved. And so we have one right here called Meta Fillet. And what I suggest you to do is just click on the little star there. And I'll show you why in a bit. So grab that, throw it down on your work area. And the reason why I put the star there, that just favorites it. So if I go down to my drop down menu, down to the favorites, I see that it's there for quick access. All right. So now that we have this shape here, I want to stretch it so that it can cut out uh, one of the corners here. Um, and I'm going to change it to a hole so it's actually going to cut. So first things first, I want to line it up properly. Okay, so I want to select both items, go up here to align, and again, if you remember this, if we click on the black dot to the right, everything will move to the right. We can rotate over here, move to the left, everything moves to the left. And now we have um, everything, we have it right in the corner. So now if we combine these shapes, let's take a look what happens. We have that nice curve, okay? But I want to do all four edges, so how do we do that? Well, if I, if I take this piece, I can go Control-C to copy, and then Control-V to paste. But notice how it pasted it out here. I don't want that. I want to be able to duplicate this, which you can find up here. Control D, or just by clicking right here. And now we have another one of these items. Now, if I hold on Shift and click on the red block here, I can now use this flip button to flip it over to the other side. If I did not have this, uh, this second block here selected and I clicked flip, it would just flip amongst itself like this but we want to flip about that other item. So I click flip, click to the other side. Now, I want to copy these two, and flip it to down here. How do I do that? I'll click on one, hold on shift, click on another, so they're both selected. I click duplicate or control D. Now I want to hold on shift and click on the block again. So I'm gonna flip about the middle of the block so click on flip, click on the arrow right here, and look at that. Now we have that uh, all four corners rounded. Let's select everything, make a box over it, group it together, control G, or clicking up here. And we have a nice um, filleted uh, all four sides here. So that's good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though, you know, we have a default shape right like this. Say if I wanted to uh, to fill it the smaller cube here, I might need to adjust this. So notice if I click on the white white dot, I can adjust it smaller, but it's not scaled evenly, right? I can I can kind of stretch it in one direction or compress it in one direction, but it's not necessarily evenly. How do I make it evenly? Well, you just simply hold on Shift as you are bringing your mouse in right here. So I can hold on Shift, bring it down. I could have a I could have a fillet of five millimeters. I can click on that and then just stretch it up and do the same steps as I was doing before. Make a hole, select these two objects, align them up to one side, to the far side. Let's double check. Yeah, to the far side. And again, I'm going to click on it, Control D to duplicate, hold on Shift, click on the cube, hit flip. And make sure you, you find that right arrow, that, that arrow to flip in the other direction. Click on one, click on the other, duplicate again. Hold on shift, click on the block. You're going to flip it. Flip it to the other side. And now we finally we combine it all together. Okay. So that's the way to round off edges. Again, if we, round, if we wanted to round off uh, one of the other edges, we just do the same uh, same steps. Just make sure you click on the rotation tool and rotate on the angle 
that you would like and, and other line of things. Alright, thanks for watching this video.